Welcome back everyone, Dan Vega here, and we are continuing our series of looking at uh, some of the new features in Spring Boot 1.4.0, and today we with we are without a doubt talking about the most important feature to hit Spring Boot, and that's the ability to have ASCII art banners generated from image files. I of course joke, but we know that ASCII art is a very important production feature of Spring Boot, uh, so we're going to take it seriously today. So I'm looking at 1.4.0, a nice write-up from Phil, and he has um, just a, a bunch of highlights on what the release has. I've actually created another video on this way back in the day. Uh, looks like November, ah, not that long ago, actually. In 1.3, that was when we first had the ability to kind of customize our Spring Boot banners. So I'll link to that too if you want to get a little bit more past history on, on how to do it without images. But if you look at the release notes, there's actually some information uh, in there about this. And there's also some configuration changes. So what, what configuration properties do we have access to? So I'll link to this stuff, but I think the easiest way to do this is just go ahead and jump into a quick demo. So I have a Spring Boot logo. This is what we're going to use um, to generate our nice little image file. So I'm going to come in and create a new project. We're going to use Java 1.8. I'm using the Spring Initializer here. And we're going to come in and we're going to call this um, Banners. And let's just change this group to the real Dan Vega. We're going to click Next. Again, we want to make sure that we are using 1.4.0 Milestone 2 or this feature is not going to work. I'm going to go ahead and create a web project. I probably don't even need to do that much, but let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, I might need that, so that worked out well. So the project, uh, we're calling it Banners, and we should just go ahead and finish. Okay, so the main thing that we're talking about here, in case you're new to Spring Boot, when we go ahead and open up our Spring Boot application, let's go ahead and run this. So if we go ahead and run Banner's application, and as soon as this fires up, we're gonna see um, the council come up and we're gonna see um, a banner and some text. So we have this nice Spring Boot banner here and you can see it's got this little ASCII art, then it's got Spring Boot underneath it and then the version that we're running. And then we get all of our logging down in the council. What we're talking about is specifically replacing this. So again, this is not production uh, critical stuff we're talking about, but it's ASCII art, it looks cool. Let's go ahead and do it. So what we wanna do is in the resources, so source main resources, in this particular file, we want to drop a file called banner dot and then can either be a GIF, or if you're on the wrong way of pronouncing things, a GIF. Uh, uh, can also be a JPEG or a ping. So let's just start off by doing that. I'm gonna actually rename this to banner.ping, and I'm gonna copy that and come into here, and let's go ahead and paste this, banner, okay. If we look at it as a logo, so all we're going to do is restart this and we should have our new banner. So it's going to generate some ASCII art based on that. So that's pretty cool. That's um, a really large file. I mean, again, if we were actually doing this for, for real, I'd probably scale down that image. But there's also some other things that we can look at. So if you wanted to rename this or change uh, the width and height of this, there's actually a way to do that. So if we go into our properties. All right, so remember we looked at a list of configuration property changes that were added in 1.4.0. So I'm going to go ahead and paste those in here just so we can look at them. But these are the properties that we could go ahead and change. So if we wanted to change our banner width, our banner height, um, our banner, so so these are the two that we would probably change if we wanted to customize this. I'm not really going to do it now. It's just a demo, so it's not a big deal. Um, the, the other property that's pretty important is the banner.image.invert. So if you have like dark council themes and you need to flip that, what uh, flip the colors on how ASCII art is generated, uh, you're going to want to use that. Um, again, 
by default, it's going to be banner.gif, ping, jpeg. But if you wanted to change the name of that, um, say we wanted to call it like Spring Boot Logo or whatever, um, you can come in and go ahead and, and change this just by saying Spring Boot Logo dot png. Um, and then the banner dot image dot margin, uh, there you can see there is a tiny little bit of margin here. If you wanted to change that, um, so left hand image height and characters. So you can go ahead and change that margin as well. So I think that's it. Uh, nothing fancy here, but of course, ASCII art is a big feature in Spring Boot. Uh, we love it. It looks cool. And I just thought I'd give you a little preview of what's coming up um, in 1.4. If you're not already on Milestone 2, give it a, you know, check it out. It's pretty cool. There's lots of new features. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how we can generate some ASCII art right from images. We don't need to actually generate the ASCII art ourselves anymore. Uh, we can just use an image. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you guys like this. If you do, click that like button, subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. Um, and I'd love to create some more for you. So thanks a lot. Have a good one.